so it's my pleasure to hand over the machine to Madam Dr. Jerica Vizia Staff of my staff of my is now Dairy equipments worth 200 million shillings has been handed out by the Dairy Development Authority to sector farmers as the industry strives to meet market standards and installed capacity production. However, Honorable Frank Tumwebazi, the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, spoke out that dairy farming practices such as milking cows the same day after vaccination and health practice with potential milk contamination. Some make those mistakes knowingly because they want to have their milk volumes not reducing, but others do it out of ignorance. So people are asking, why are you with cancer cases on the rise? Maybe it's because of some of the mistakes. So when DD is coming in to give you this equipment, it is all intended to improve the quality of the milk that you sell and which milk gives many other products to the world. According to the financial year 2021-2022 annual dairy performance report by the Dairy Development Authority of Uganda, dairy exports generated more than 382 billion shillings, exactly 103 million US dollars, as compared to the previous year. Currently, according to the State Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Bright Ramirama, there has been an increase to 320 million US dollars. That's over 1 trillion shillings. I think our, our estimate today, uh, this, this year is 300 million US dollars, 320 million US dollars. That's not something small. And yet we are not putting in a lot of money. And I want use this opportunity to thank the farming community because it is all your effort. In the 2022 Dairy Development Authority report, the country's export earnings increased by 11 percent despite the drought with nest in small milk sheds. The authority attributed this growth to the increased production compliance to regional and international market standards. Samson Akankiza, the executive director, further says that to maintain this trend, government should allocate more funds towards the dairy sector. Yeah, we have a challenge of budget allocation, uh, which uh, when we, we are given resources, we can be able to reach out to many farming households and uh, help them in terms of trainings and clean milk production. But also we have other unfunding priorities, unfunded priorities, like uh, revamping the Entebbe Dairy Training School into a college, uh, to be able to have many technologists and uh, technicians in the dairy sector. Honorable Minister, DDA, you are aware, is one of the agencies that receive very little money. But the Direct Development Authority has turned out the lives of so many farming communities. According to the financial year 2021-2022 annual dairy performance report once again by the Dairy Development Authority of Uganda, the national per capita consumption stood at 62 liters, far below the 200 liters per capita recommended by the World Health Organization. Despite the surge in export volumes, export destinations dropped from 18 countries in financial year 2020 to 16 countries after losing Qatar, UK, Czech Republic, Republic and Sri Lanka. Only two countries, that's the US, Somalia, were registered as the new market destinations. Bedson Mumbere Smart 24 TV Business Today.